Hi, welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Right now we are doing the rounds of Jupiter. We had completed earlier the first 12 rounds from 1 to 12, the first round of Jupiter. We have also completed the second round of Jupiter that is from 12 to 24. Today we are going to go for the third round of Jupiter that is from the age of 24 to 36. Yes. Again I will repeat in the same format what we use to know what happens in the third round or when the third house from Jupiter's round begins. What usually we take into consideration, what usually we observe to give predictions. Okay? Yes. Now, usually, what, we, what is the significance of a third house? Third house from Jupiter. Because everything you know that we pick from Jupiter only. Now the third house from Jupiter tells us about the third round. That is how it is counted. The first round of Jupiter will be the placement of Jupiter. Second house from Jupiter will be the second house or second round of Jupiter. Third round will tell us about the happenings or events. Third house from Jupiter will become the third round and that is during the natives age of 24 to 36. So this is the third round and what all we take into consideration to know what is going to happen in this 12 years from 24 to 36 years of the native male or female okay first thing what i regularly say is the third house aspect when you are taking or when you are looking at the third house round you have to notice a few important things the first important thing is third house aspect okay if at all any planet is aspecting that will be taken into consideration now here for example in this chart third house is vacant third house is Kanya third house from Jupiter Virgo okay Kanya Virgo third house is that sign and there is no one here third house no one is there. Who aspects the third house? Nobody is aspecting except for Saturn in the trine, fifth house. Even this I have been telling you all. The fifth Rasi or the trinal Rasi from Virgo will give the effects of the fifth Rasi. Virgo will get the significations of the planet which is placed in the trinal sign. Not only this, ninth house, Taurus. Because backwards from Virgo, Taurus is the fifth house. Clockwise from Virgo, so Capricorn is the trinal sign. So trinal signs are Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. Kanya, Rishabham and Makara. These are the three trinal signs. Okay. First point was third house aspect. Nobody is aspecting the third house. Saturn is in the trinal sign from the third house. So the first thing will be in this round will be something about Saturn. First thing will be something about Saturn. That means it may be trouble, it may be hurdles, it may be loss, it may be travels, it, uh, it may be profession. What all the significations are there for Saturn? Because Saturn is in the trinal sign from 
Virgo. It has to give its significations when Jupiter is having his third round. And that happens when the transiting Jupiter comes to Saturn. Clear? Yes. This is one point. This is how we have to look at the third house happenings. Second one. Third house, Lord's placement and conjunction. We see one thing. Placement of planets in the third house. I will write that out. Placement of planets in the third house. When planets are placed in the third house, it will give that results. Then third house aspect, the trinal aspect, trinal sign aspect from Saturn, that will be the significations uh, will be given to the third house round or the happenings will be according to the significations of that planet which is in the trinal sign from Virgo or Kanya. Next, third house Lord's placement and its conjunction. From Jupiter, when Virgo, that is Kanya, Virgo or Kanya becomes the third house, the Lord of Virgo, the Lord of Kanya is Mercury. Now in this chart, where the Mercury is? Mercury is in the second house. So Mercury gives the benefits. Mercury is the second house. Mercury gives us the benefits. Next. Mercury. The third house lord is having Mars and Venus together. So Mars and Venus, they also will give their significations. Again I repeat, third house lord is having Saturn in the trinal sign. So during the third house, that is from 24 years to 36 years of the native, Saturn's significations will be falling on Virgo. So, in the third round, the native will enjoy or will face Saturn's significations. Second, second point, third house lord placement and conjunction. Third house, nobody is there. The first point, placement of planets in the third house. No one is there, so clear. But the third house lord is in Leo. Third house lord Mercury, he is in Leo. He is in Leo with Mars and Venus. So I have written here, Mars and Venus also will give their significations during the period of the third house, third round of Jupiter. That is from 20 four to 36 years of the native's life. When is going to go? What is going to go? The second step. First question is, the basic principles, how you have to know the happening of events in the third round of Jupiter. Clear? So, third house lord and its conjunction. Next, third house trinal sign. This I have already finished. There is only one Saturn and no other, no, no other uh, planets are there in the trinal signs from Virgo. So that is Saturn that I have already written there. Next, third house Lord aspect. Third house Lord is Mercury. Who all are aspecting Mercury? Mercury is having in the trinal sign Moon and Rahu. So Moon and Ra. So many people were asking me, four house combination, five house combination, what it is going to give us? Yes, this is the benefits you get. When you got five planets in one Rasi, during the rounds of one of the planet of Rasi, you will get almost all the five house, five planet significations benefits or struggles, whatever it is. 
I repeat once again. People were asking me whether there are more than two planets. They are asking me about conjunction, four planet conjunction, five planet. Where it comes into handy, where it comes helpful for us to know the predictions part of it or happenings part of it. This is all. Because there was three planets in one conjunction. And when Jupiter started the third round, the third round Lord was there with Mars and Venus. So not only Mercury significations, the third house Lord's benefit we are getting here. We are also getting the benefits of Mars and Venus also because they are in conjunction with the third house Lord. This is the beautiful benefit. If at all one more planet was there, definitely third house Lord will go into conjunction with that planet also and during the third house you will get that planet's benefits also. This is the main part and this is the reason I did not come up with the five planet conjunction, three planets conjunction that is useful in the general astrology, in the regular astrology. But Nadi system, this is the format we have been following or this is the format I have been learning and this is giving me very good results. I thought it will be helpful to you all. So I am just giving you that or I am keeping it in front of you all. As simple as that. Clear? Yeah. Third house Lord aspect I told you. Third house Lord Mercury is having in its final sign Rahu and Moon. Rahu and Moon. What Moon does? What Rahu does? That I am going to explain when I run with the transiting Jupiter. This is for 12 years. All these benefits, benefits moon, moon significations, Rao significations, Saturn's, Mercury's, Mars and Venus significations. These are all the wholesale benefits for the uh, 12 years because the block is pertaining from 24 to 36. But during those 12 years, Jupiter will be going from one Rasi to another Rasi. Clear? And now it's going to happen. Fine? Right. <clears throat> so, third house lot aspect is over transiting Jupiter. Yes, each benefit. You will get one benefit at a time. One planet aspects or two planets aspect or whatever it is, whenever the transiting Jupiter aspects or transiting Jupiter is aspected by the other planet or transiting Jupiter has in its same format, the format will never go anywhere. One thing is transiting Jupiter's placement and other planets in that sign. For example, from September 12, Jupiter came to Libra. Next, 2000, this is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It will go like that. Now, according to the transiting Jupiter, and when the planet Jupiter aspect or planets aspecting Jupiter or planets in the trinal sign from Jupiter, just like this, all the planets give their benefits to the transiting Jupiter throughout that particular year. Fine. Now this is what we are going to do here. First, I said, 24 to 36 years. Exactly in Gemini. Mithuna. We will end the 24. 25 will be Karkataka. Cancer sign. Karkataka Rasi. 25. 25. What has happened here? Now I am talking about transiting Jupiter. The block is 24 to 36 years, 
the third round of Jupiter. What are the planets? According to this format, these are the planets which are giving us their significations or have, which will show us the happening of events. Beneficial or a malefic effect or a bad effect or ill effect, whatever it is, according to the placement, according to the planets placed in this format. House, house lords placement, house lords conjunction, house lords triangle, third house triangle. This is how we get throughout the 12 years. And in between, the changes come when the transiting Jupiter, each year, Jupiter will be in one Rasi and while he is traveling and according to the natal chart. Now here the important thing comes. As I told you in the beginning, third house is loss making. Oh, I didn't tell you that. Okay, now I'll repeat. Third house is nothing but it signifies traveling. It signifies communication. It signifies strength. It signifies sister. Or sibling. Younger sibling. Or younger sibling. When this is about the third house, so now, whenever a malefic, whenever a benefic, the transit, transiting Jupiter touches based on that planet, in comparison to the third house, we are going to give the result. Okay. Let me finish a few examples. Then I think it will be easier to understand. So 25 Jupiter and Sun was there when he entered 25 years old. When he enters 25 years old, Jupiter and Sun was there. Again, I am telling you all, please don't try to take the retrograde period into consideration. Normally, you take that planetary time which is given for one round of 12 years. 24th, it will be here. 25 will be in Cancer. This is the assumption we have to make for predictions. Okay? When he touches here, Cancer. When Jupiter touched here at the age of 25, there is Jupiter, Sun and Saturn, Saturn aspecting Sun. Who else is aspecting? No one in the trial that side. So only Saturn's aspect is receiving. What is Jupiter? What is Sun? What is Saturn? At the age of 25, when the transiting Jupiter was in Karkataka, Cancer, Saturn was aspecting, Sun and Jupiter was there. What happened? At the age of 25, this gentleman got his promotion. Not only really promotion. He was called by his superior. And the superior entrusted him with a beautiful or one more workload, which only he can do it with extra emoluments, extra benefits. Saturn so the profession for this native. Jupiter is touching the sun, so name and fame. Cancer in a different land. Jupiter, the person, the native. Sun, Saturn, Saturn sitting down opposite to Sun or aspecting Sun and Jupiter touching Sun, he has to elevate it. He has to go high in his career because Saturn is the career part of it. This is what happened in 25. When did it happen in 25? That is also important. When did it happen in 25? Usually, the trinals from the side. We take the month. Of course, now I use a little bit of numerology here. Of course, but the same. But people think it is different. No. Just like you can trace out July born people. Jan, February, March, April, May, June, July. Close. Sun. Trinal from there. Either he has to get 
He is there, he has to get it here or there. But what we are going to do there, in the month of, this is November. And this is March. January, February, March. So between March or November or July, he has to get the emoluments. Because it entered, it happened in July only. He got his emoluments, he got his hike, he was placed in the higher hierarchy with extra load. In the month of July. This is about 25. 26. The native's age of 26. Let us assume that Jupiter has come into Leo, Simmarasi. Who are all there? Mars is there, Mercury is there, Venus is there. And Trinal, Moon and Rahu. When Jupiter sits down here in Leo at the age of 26, he will get the significations of Mars, he will get the significations of Mercury, he will get the significations of Venus. In addition to that, Trinal sign, Rahu and Moon are also there. So he has to get five planets, significations, benefits or blessings. What happened here? At the age of 26, because Mercury was there, And one more thing, each planet, it is not only Mercury is aspected by Moon and Rahu in the trinal sign. All the planets, I told you earlier, he has been given with a new skill in the office. Here when he comes, the skill is getting highlighted, Mercury is there and Moon and Rahu is there. It has to change the study part. This gentleman suddenly is now opting for further study. So, he is now opting for a different study. PhD is going to go for PhD. Because Rahu, a new beginning, Mercury, study, moon, change. That is one thing. Second thing, land, Mars. Moon Rahu, he shifted from New Jersey to Rolla at this period. Because I know this candidate inch by inch, I am trying to correlate things with my subject. I am not justifying the actions with my subject. Trying to prove the subject with the incidents. There is a difference between this. You may think I have seen only one guy and I know it. No. For your better understanding, for what are the what all the changes I have seen and the types of changes, I am trying to put it in front of you. The beauty of it, the beauty of the subject, how it lets us know about things that you people may learn and become a beautiful astrologer. Because so many people are losing hopes on astrology. My only struggle is, if it is more perfect, though it is a statistical science, if it is still more perfect, then everybody will get a ray of hope on the subject. Okay? Let me not go into that values, because what we know, what we have learned, only that we can exhibit. Okay? <clears throat> so, Mercury, the education, academic career, Moon, the change, Rahu, a new beginning. So he started thinking of, thinking of jumping into PhD. That is true. He changed his residence from New Jersey to Rolla. The Rolla was the university where he studied. Clear? Venus. He got the high here. Venus is also here. Mercury Venus together. 
They are giving him the scholarship for the education, academic career, Venus, money for the academic career. This was also, moon was the sudden change. And at this situation only, he found a lady also for his life, Venus. So many people ask me, usually the second round of Jupiter transit, I have told, from 12 to 24 is the period when a person gets into a wedlock or when a person tries to contact his own person or a woman. But, that is true. But here, we are forgetting one thing. Even 12 to 24, transiting Jupiter will definitely touch Venus. But if at all, but if at all, when Venus is ill-placed or second house lord is always is already with sun so that period is past 1 to 12 if at all we go to the Venus period it will come here I mean in the fourth house lord fourth house lord so only in the fourth round you can concentrate on Venus because Venus is with the third house person, because he is in conjunction with the third house Lord, so at this point only we are telling that, and moreover, third house Lord is aspected by Rahu, which is a change in totally almost all things, Venus, Mars. So concentrating on Venus in one part in one, that is about the family, 12 to 24, now here the 12 to 24 has gone, 24 to 36 period because Venus is there with the third house lot. So during the third house only the Venus is going to come into picture. Shall I repeat? I'll do it. 12 to 24 is the period when I have said when Jupiter touches the Venus, a person, a man or a woman, a man for the wife, for a woman, from 12 to 24, over a woman's natal chart, when the Jupiter touches the Mars, then we call it as marriage. But when the Venus is with the third house lot, because Venus is it's not his own house, Venus is not in his own house, and that is not Venus's round. If at all. The second rose lot was with Venus. 100% the the marriage part of it would take would have taken place in the second round. Where are these marriages delayed? Of course, I have told this when I dealt with when I continued with my Venus video or with my Mars video. Venus for male, Mars for female. I, have a, I, I will repeat again, Venus when it is with moon, the marriage will be fast for a male. Mars when it is moon, the marriage will be fast for a female. Venus when it is aspected by Saturn or ill-placed, it will be delayed. Mars when it is aspected by Saturn in conjunction with the Saturn or in the trinal from Saturn, it will be delayed. So in this case, Mercury, Venus and Mars, three people, okay, very good. He is going to get a good lady, intelligent lady because of Mercury. Mars and Venus together, beautiful lady. So third house, Moon, Rahu, change of place. Moon is changes, changes to the study, changes to the land and change of a woman. Uh, I'm sorry, a woman entering into life because of Rahu. This is what has happened here in the third round. So, Mars Venus pattern over and when Venus saw here you started giving all the definitions 26th year these are the few things which has happened he changed his place of living he started PhD he got money for his academic career because of Mercury and Venus that is scholarship change of place change of study Extension of study, not change of study, extension of study, PhD, and Venus. 
he a woman came into his life not marriage there i'll come i'll come there not marriage only when venus aspect uh, when saturn aspects venus the action with venus will begin when jupiter aspects venus the touch point will begin that all equival uh, account what you call it knowing each other will begin there's a difference there so 26 or 27 24 25 26 27 At the age of twenty-seven, no one was there. No, twenty-seven because no one was there. But Saturn was in the trinal sign. He had to face certain troubles in the professional line because. Lot of load was given to him, extra load here. That's what has happened. Okay, and thirty-seven traveling also was there because of that load in the natal chart. If Jupiter sits down, sits down here in the fourth house, in the domestic family, in his family, or in the parents' family, Moon changes came. His sister gave birth to a baby. Venus, fifth house. Okay, Venus, fifth house. Lord has come into the family. This is Venus family, but for him the fourth house, domestic family, moon change. Twenty eight. When he comes to twenty eight, what are the benefits he is going to enjoy? First thing. At the age of twenty-eight, he is going to come back to his hometown. Third house in the natal chart, Moon is there in the third house at the age of twenty-eight, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Saturn looks at him, and one, two, three, four. In the fourth house, there is Saturn. I am very sure there may be death in the family, and that's why for the death he will be forced to come to at the age of twenty-eight to hometown. Next, K two, the trinal from Libra, Tula Rasi, trinal K two, Gemini. K two is nothing but death, so he has to face face death. Now see the fun. Jupiter, the age of twenty-eight, when it sits in Thula, exactly fourth house, the domestic house, Saturn is there. Jupiter and Sun looks at it, so he has to perform the functions. He has to perform the kriya, what you call it, uh, after death kriyas, Sun. And from from here, trinal sign is Ketu. Ketu is the dead end. Clear? So this is how it goes. Twenty nine. This is called as twenty nine Scorpio. Here, Jupiter and Sun aspect, and one, two, three, four, four. Jupiter's fourth house is Venus, Mercury, Mars are aspecting, and Venus second house, Rahu is there. So. <clears throat> When Rahu is here in the second house, he has to change the life pattern. And the fourth house from Jupiter, as transiting Jupiter from transiting the Jupiter, when you take the transiting Jupiter into Scorpio at the age of twenty-nine, you will be having fourth house aspect of Venus, Mercury, and Mars. So relatives, marriage at the age of twenty-nine, he is going to get into a lock. Thirty, back to pavilion, and he is going to have a total change of his life. Venus, money making, education, or house, all these things, pensions in the family, but Jupiter and Sun are there, so it will be nullified.
This is 29. Third, uh, 30. 30. 30 is going to go back, not 29. 30. 20, 29, 30. 30 is going to go back. Family tensions, profession sanctions, everything will be there. And totally he is a new person. He became a family man at the age of 28, uh, 29. So everything changed. He got his name and fame because trinal sign, Jupiter and Sun. Functions, celebrations for him. At the same time, when it was here, death functions. And Ketu, trinal, death of father. Why father? I'll tell you later. 30th, new life. 31. Name and fame in the profession. Who else is 31? Nobody here? Nobody here. Only Jupiter and Saturn. Name and fame in the placement. Third house lord is not at all anywhere near. 32. There will be a vehicle coming up. He has to spend money for the vehicle. There will be travelings. Travelings to a watery place. And about land and development because Mars is there. 31. 32. At the age of 31, mother, moon, he will also take the mother to a foreign land. Mother has to join him. Because for Jupiter is there, from the moon, it is in the third house, Venus, Mercury, Mars, moon. So mother has to travel to a foreign land with the sun. 32. Nobody aspects except Jupiter and sun. Childbirth, Jupiter. And all the good things are happening in his house. Because 1, 2, 3, fourth house, uh, third house lord, uh, Venus, is there with, uh, I mean, third house lord is aspected by tri Saturn, trinal sign. Fourth house Ketu is here. Here I cannot call it a death. Good things. Naming ceremony, genu, whatever it is. Ketu, that Ketu is here. Here in two angles we saw one is Saturn, the death and Ketu, then it is Kriya, Karma. But here you got in the fifth house, the sun and Jupiter, good things. So here it will be Janu. So 32, 33 nothing is there, 33 again, money making, 34, good things happen at home. Vehicles come into the house and there will be the health problems to the mother, fourth from Jupiter here. Because second house tension is there. From Jupiter, the second house Ketu is sitting. I'm talking about the transiting Jupiter. And third house, Jupiter is there. This is the loss of hope, loss of things. Mother, Mars is there for the mother. Mother will get a surgery done. Where it will be done? For the stomach part of it. Or it looks at the uterus. Mars looks at the fourth house from mother. It is part of it. This is 34 and I mean 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So I think I have covered about 24 to 36. Of course, I know very well. Even in this context, some questions for you all will be still troubling you. Or there would be pending questions for you all. Unless and until you continuously look into these things by catching hold of a few charts, a known charts, already happened incidents. And at that time, if you get any doubt, you can mail it to me. Okay. So I think we are going to end the session here. Till I meet you next time, I would like to bid you bye.